Rock Bottom Coins is the number one place to get your Madden coins. If you make coins for my videos, sell them to Rock Bottom. If you're buying, use my code GUTBOX for 10% off. Hey, Box here. So, we got a pretty decently busy week in Mutt Ahead. Um, obviously, there's a ton of EA airs, and we'll talk about that. You're probably looking at the game behind me like, what's going on, Fox? That don't look like Madden 23. Well, it's not. I'll explain why in a second. Uh, like, you know, the, the hurricane delayed things last week. We had issues. EA solved, like, you know, some of our problems from last week, too. So they were around the office or, you know, were able to get into the servers working at a distance, which, you know, makes sense seeing as they should be prepped pretty well for that with, you know, COVID forced them all home. But hopefully this next week is a little bit better than last week as far as errors and problems with the program. You know, we got that mega training refund. See, I got over a million training right now here. This is Madden 22, actually. But... I do want to refresh our thoughts around Team Diamonds. I don't think they're coming tomorrow because tomorrow they teased out that we have, boom, uh, you see right behind you, Megatron and uh, Revis on their way. Let me bring it up also nice and big. Um, so we have AK and huge names for AK, right? Like current modern day NFL, well, modern-ish day NFL superstars. We had a couple years ago, but there it is. Uh, Megatron here, best receiver in the game, especially if you got the Legends cam on your theme team. Uh, we then have Mr. Revis. So there was a lot of memes I saw on uh, um, Twitter about bringing out a 5'10 DB and a 6'5 wide receiver. And I see this all the time, right? Like a lot of people in this game, when I'm like, aggressive catches are it's too overpowered. I don't know if you guys have gone against somebody that's good at aggressive catching yet, but it is truly terrible. You'll see a bunch more as the coming months if they don't nerf it. Uh, like, like, Revis Island. By the way, great card art. I, I, I should call that out before I want to go more into eggs. I mean, Megatron, it, like, good work. The card art team holding up their, their you know, end of the bargain um, so far this year. The rest of the team, <laughs> not so much in Mutt. Um, but, yeah, Revis Island. So, like, Revis, obviously one of the greatest corners of all time in the NFL. Um, and he's 5'10", right? In Madden, like, is this, like, it's usable for sure. He's not, like, great, though, because of the height. So it's sad when guys like Revis, because their height, aren't desired because of how powerful egg catching is in this game. And it's sad to see that, right? That, like, tall receivers are dunking on guys who they shouldn't really be able to do that because, as we saw today in the Pittsburgh game, a six foot four wide receiver, you know, got the ball picked off when he tried to get it, to get thrown to him by Kenny Pickett against like a five foot, I don't know, what is it, nine DB. So uh, it's like height doesn't matter as much as it does in Madden. And so like, it, it makes no sense to me why like Revis is going to be trash, but Megatron is going to be what Megatron is. It doesn't feel right, right? So like, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I wish stats played more of it, attributes played more of a factor in it, but we do have their abilities here. Uh, Megatron with his uh, double me X factor. I probably wouldn't spend on that. It's not like Most. Um, double me, I think they broke it and then they fixed it since we don't have that, you know, two man interaction. Remember in like Madden 20 where they brought this stuff in? They had like those interactions between dudes. So you get the interaction for the catch. You would get knocked out. They don't really got that no more. So double me doesn't work quite as well. It still works okay. Not as well. Wide receiver apprentice, which is frankly insane for one AP. Deep out elite, which is should be like five times that expensive. Uh, but that's like 1 AP and, and super cheap on all cards. Mid in elite, which is really good for like post patterns in the middle of the field. I got one in my book. Uh, check out my membership here for the ebook. We're, we're frying dudes in it. The only way I ever lose games is if I make a bad mistake, right? Otherwise, we're always getting guys open in man zone, that kind of stuff. Uh, then Durrell Revis here. He gets uh, shut down. Terrible. Uh, on the ball. I guess it's free. That's cool. Acrobat, way too expensive. Um, and then flat zone KO for 1 AP if you do want to put them in like a cover 2 system or at like a nickel corner. Um, nickel, flat zone, well, you can't do them at the same time because they'll be in the same slot. But on the ball for, I guess, going against runners and then flat zone for uh, any sort of flat kind of stuff. So, anyways, let's talk about Team Diamonds this upcoming week. What do we expect? So, we got, you know, second part of uh, Gridiron Guardians and everything. And that came out and the, the worked, right? We got Legends and stuff. Legend packs weren't that great, but... 
Team Diamonds. We talked about this last Monday. I just want to refresh your guys' uh, uh, remembrance. So Team Diamonds Part 1 last year had all these uh, uh, diamonds. Uh, sorry, all these cards starting with 86 overalls going on down through Team Builders. And I don't recommend Team Builders right now because they're kind of like... The team builders on the Mutt 23 market are going for the same price that you could just make them with. So I think if you're prepping, um, it's not a bad idea just to go ahead and grab like the, the low end, the 80s, 82s for the team builders. Because if for some reason they're not in the sets, then you still got 80 to 82s, which you won't lose too much value since they're going for, you know, around training. Um, I think 80s are slightly above training, to be fair. I think 80s are like 7K uh, and 80s at 7K are... Yeah, a little bit above. Not drastically, but a little bit above training. So you will lose a little bit if they if they fall to training value. Otherwise, you might want to get your golds for your team if you want to do the teams. Uh, people get asked me the estimate. Like, I don't know, million to two million if you're going through doing these things and selling them along the way. Um, do not spend a lot of coins for, like, uh, uh, golds that are expensive. Golds will filter in and out of the market. There'll be, like, a bunch of people post a gold all at once. Um, and then they'll, like, go down in price. Um, so that's one thing is don't get too greedy with it. Nick Chubb, like a lot of these things, this is like 86, right? So a lot of these Scott cards are 86, but there were some of them where they didn't really have an 86 in the set. I'm trying to find one of them. And they had like an 87 to 88 down here. Um, JJ Watt probably was around that. Oh, we don't see it in Madden 22, but um, I'm trying to find a team that wouldn't have had a top. And here it is. So like, oh, never mind. This is an 85 to 86 player just like oh, a what any player so that will be in a couple of them i'd assume but uh it's gonna be the same right like 80s 81s 82s 83s 84s 85 and then i think was bulaga with these things 86s last year too um uh, but that that it'll just basically be in order i mean maybe maybe they make team diamonds one like they made team diamonds two last year and make these things into wild cards but I really think the Team Diamond ones, I, I, you know, I'll say I'm 70% sure. You can never be 100% because EA does change things year to year uh, for no reason whatsoever. They could bring back wild cards for Team Diamonds. That's definitely a thing, but it's more Team Diamonds 2. So, and Team Diamonds 2 for 95 overalls. We got the, you know, 89s, 91s, 86s in here. So, I really think maybe getting, like, your team done, you could be extra safe. If you do do the theme team, you're going to want like those 87s anyways, but you can get the 87s, 88s if you're feeling really risk averse. Otherwise, I think like I feel like getting all the cards up to 86 should be a fine one uh, regardless. Oh, no, wrong, wrong one. I think that should be fine for prepping for Team Diamonds. Otherwise, I know team people are like guests for Team Diamonds, and I'm not going to... I do that... I've done that a lot of years, and we're always way off, so I can just like show you one. You guys want to see... I think I saw McCullough do Team Diamond guesses. We'll go look. We'll look. We'll react to his Team Diamond guesses. Um, McCullough had Madden 23 a thread. Oh my god, All right, he went with Devin Hester, Will Anderson, McGahee. Who do you have for the Steelers? Where is it at? Oh, did he not do it? Darn it! I thought he was gonna do like a whole thread on this. He only got. He only had a few of them. Hmm. Oh, they're all Ravens. <laughs> I saw his tweet. I was like, I didn't even really look at the cards. They're all Ravens. I've done this before, but with uh, uh, Steelers. Let's see. Where was my um, diamonds? I'll show you my guesses. Here, here, here are mine. James Harrison for the Patriots. Alan Fanica, we already got him. So we'll go James Ferrier for the Jets. Porter, AFC West, North. Kimo Von Olhoff would be really cool for the Bengals, I think. Uh, Browns, just give him Chuck Knoll. Jack Ham for the Steelers. Carnell Lake, huge W. Uh, but yeah, like, it's crazy. Like, I made this list a couple years ago. And it, they've brought in a bunch of the guys, like, we've asked for. Or I've asked for. And I know other people have asked for. It's really cool. Really cool how many names that, like, the ones that are bold are ones that have been brought into the game. And I, like, I haven't even kept this up to date. That's crazy. Carnell Lake and Donnie Shell would be really cool. Dree Archer, bring him back. YA2. We haven't had Dree Archer for a couple years now. Since 21, right? Yeah, so anyways. Who knows what we get for Team Diamonds? 
Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Um, team of the week, who's going to get it? I know a lot of people are saying Diggs. They want his card, obviously. Um, who is that? Austin Eckler scored three touchdowns. He'd be a solid team of the week player. Um, let me know what you guys think for team of the week. And then, uh, are you guys going still going strong on pack strike? That's one question I want to ask. Are you guys still going? We're still going on pack strike. Um, I, I sold a bunch of guys on my team. You know what's crazy? Is my team's actually not that much worse. I sold like 12 million coins worth of cards for my team over the last day. Like, like top end cards. And I'm like, look at him, like, huh. I'm actually like not that sad about the downgrades. You know, some places are worse because like the abilities. Right for my receivers, I might have to go grab somebody. Somebody else does for Megatron, uh, that I'll try and get tomorrow. But otherwise, yeah, I like because I've done a lot of those sets. I got like a lot of eighty eights that are really competitive with like the ninety overalls that I had otherwise. So, yeah, it ain't bad. Um. Uh, anyway, so I just wanted to show. Yeah, I got ten point four. I got. I, I bought some cards too, so to prep for diamonds too. So, yeah, the team. Even though I've downgraded a lot of spots, some places like DK still there. I bought McDaniel because you know I like to invest in limiteds. You know that. Uh, let's just start start market stuff. But like I got Casper. I'll get I'll get you know the I got free Randy Moss that I can't sell. Sadly, I wanted that uh, a different spot for that uh, free one. Munoz, I, he didn't even sell for me. I might have to go back to grab Aaron Rodgers again. I don't know. Um, Cromwell didn't sell. So I got him as a limited. It might not be a bad idea to grab another one. I don't know, nobody really knows him or cares for him. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, it's not too terrible. Uh, generate best. Oh, I got to sell that Champ Bailey too. Once we get Woolen here. Woolen. I'm still, Dude, Woolen had that pick six today. That sucks that the Steelers didn't draft him. Six foot four and fast. It makes no sense why he fell so far in the draft. Uh, to me, with those kind of physicals. But... All I need is two edge threats. So my defense is is back to what it is. Like I, this isn't this. I'm good with this defense, right? I like this defense. Fields played all right for me. Gilmore's maybe a little bit of dub, uh, L, but I'd probably put Sauce. I put Sauce Gardner on my CB too. Um. Yeah, I actually don't mind my 88s lineup. My 88s base, and then uh, my free cards. Like just by doing sets, I got a bunch of free cards. That's it for the video, though. Hopefully this helped. Golds, mid-diamonds, or mid-elites for the diamond sets for the prep. That's it. Bye.